Good morning. Welcome to the first 15. Uh, I want to begin our time this morning just by starting off uh, our prayer time with God, just telling him um, where we're at this morning, how we're feeling, um, what we're thinking, uh, just maybe being honest with him. So let's take just a minute. Let's just go to the Lord in prayer and let's just uh, just reveal to him what's in our heart and, uh, and what's going on in our life. Now I want us to move into a time of praise, and to do that, I want us to focus on uh, an attribute of God, something that is true of Him, of His character and nature. And so today, I want to read to you uh, Malachi 3.6. Malachi 3.6 says, For I, the Lord, do not change. God never changes. He does not in any way ever change. And that is an amazing thing. That means that he continues to be who he has always been, that the circumstances around us or uh, the things happening in the world don't change who God is. So right now, let's take just a few moments and let's, uh, let's thank God that he's unchanging. And then let's, uh, let's thank him for what that means to each of us personally. What does that mean to my life that God does not change? Now we want to move in prayer to a time of thanksgiving. Uh, Psalm chapter 9 verse 1 says, I will give thanks to the Lord with all of my heart, and I will tell all of his wonderful deeds. So right now in this time, I want you to think back to yesterday, and I want you to find two things from yesterday that we can thank God for today. So whatever that is for you, uh, find two things from yesterday that we can thank God for today. And now as we continue in prayer, we're going to begin to request things of God, or we're gonna move into the time of prayer of asking. So in Romans 15, 13, Paul writes, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit, that we would trust in God and that we would trust him with our lives and that we would trust him with these requests. So let's ask God right now in this moment, let's ask him to fill us with joy today so that uh, through the power of the Holy Spirit, we might uh, spill that joy out to the people around us, whether that's our family, our friends, our neighbors, the people that we'll be in contact with. Let's ask God to fill us with his joy that we might overflow. Um, and then let's offer some requests to him. Let's trust him. Let's trust him with the things in our lives that are um, maybe burdensome or troubling or things that we're thinking about. Let's go ahead and do that now. And then before we conclude our time together in prayer, let's talk about what it means to yield or surrender to God. As a part of our prayer time, we want to uh, take just a moment and yield our lives to God. In Matthew 16, verse 24, it says, Then Jesus told his disciples, If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. So this is Jesus saying that if you're going to follow me, it's going to mean that you uh, you give up everything else. You have to be willing to put everything else aside. And that's what it takes to, to follow Jesus. And so as we yield, I just want to share a prayer with you. This is my prayer for today. And uh, why don't you pray this along with me? Lord, today I am completely yours. I give you everything and I give up everything to follow you. Because everything in this world means nothing compared to knowing you. And now I just want to encourage you to continue in prayer. You may want to go back and spend some more time in praise or in thanksgiving. 
You may have some more things that you want to ask of God. Um, you may have some more things that you want to yield. You may want to spend some more time there. Uh, as you do so, uh, there will be a prompt here on the screen just to, to give you some things to think about as you continue on in prayer. All right. Hey, God bless you guys. Thanks for joining me for the first 15 and we'll see you tomorrow.